announcement period. There are some, uh, a couple of presentations this evening, and we're going to start with Councilman Swope. Are you ready? Can you hear me? You were saying, Madam Pro Tem? <laughs> Thank you. I'm saying we're going to start the announcement period. We do have a couple of presentations, starting with Councilman Swope. Thank you, Madam Pro Tem. It is with great pride and privilege that tonight I get to join friends from Sister Cities International, the Nashville Kurdish community, and our fellow brothers and sisters in Erbil, Kurdistan, in welcoming Kurdistan to our welcoming our bill to becoming Nashville's 10th sister city. Resolution RS 2023-2310 is a resolution approving a sister city relationship with a government of our bill in the Kurdistan region of Iraq and authorizing the mayor to execute a sister cities agreement. Whereas the International Sister Cities Initiative was created at President, President Eisenhower's 1956 White House Conference on Citizen Dis Diplomacy with the purpose of establishing friendship and understanding between the people of the United States and other nations through person-to-person -person diplomacy and based on the idea that people of different cultures could celebrate and appreciate their differences. Whereas Sister Cities of Nashville Incorporated was organized as a private not-for-profit corporation in 1991 for the express purpose of promoting economic development and global understanding by assisting and encouraging the citizens of Nashville to form friendships and contacts with cities throughout the world. And whereas the mission of Sister Cities of Nashville is to connect the people of Nashville to people of the world, promoting peace through mutual respect, understanding, and cooperation, one person, one community at a time and whereas sister cities of nashville incorporated has been officially authorized by the metropolitan council to administer nashville sister cities programs and whereas since its founding sister cities of nashville incorporated with the support of the metropolitan government has established official sister cities relationships with Caen, france belfast northern ireland edmonton canada magdeburg germany mendoza argentina taiwan china tamworth australia kamakura japan chengdu china all of which relationships have been recognized officially by the Metropolitan Government and Whereas the government of Erbil sent a delegation to Nashville in May of 2022, during which visit council members were able to meet with members of that delegation and to hear from the governor of the government of Erbil. And whereas the delegation from Nashville included Mayor John Cooper, council members Joyce Stile and Robert Swope, former Mayor Bill Purcell and other officials, as well as members of the Board of Sister Cities of Nashville, made an official visit to Erbil to explore potential connections in areas such as healthcare, law, higher education, arts and culture, tourism, and governance in May of 2023 and... Whereas Nashville is home to the largest Kurdish population in the country with an estimate of more than 20,000 Kurds who have made great contributions to our community. And whereas the Board of Directors of Sister Cities of Nashville Incorporated has formally recommended the nomination of the Governorate of Erbil, Kurdistan region of Iraq to be Nashville's sister city. And whereas the Metropolitan Government of Nashville and Davidson County through the Metropolitan Council does hereby approve this recommendation, finding that the proposed relationship will be of great benefit to the citizens of Nashville. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Council of the Metropolitan Government of Nashville and Davidson County, Section 1, that the Metropolitan, uh, Metropolitan Council, on behalf of the people of Nashville, Tennessee, of the United States of America, does hereby extend an invitation to the government and the people of the government of Erbil, Kurdistan, region of Iraq, to partner with Nashville, Tennessee, as its sister city, for the purpose of creating greater mutual understanding and to promote a future of liberty and peace by creating a world of friendship and further authorizes the mayor to execute a sister city's agreement. Agreement. Section 2, that the Metropolitan Clerk is directed to send a certified copy of this resolution to Mayor John Cooper and to the Governor of the Government of Erbil, Kurdistan. And 3, this resolution shall take effect from and after its adoption, the welfare of the Metropolitan Government of Nashville and Davidson County requiring it. And I would like to present this to two of them. 
our friends in the Curtis community in Nashville. And Sarah, where are you? Sarah, and just Sarah Lingo with Sister Cities. And with that, it is my honor to introduce the mayor of Nashville, the Honorable John Cooper. Well, thank you, Councilman. I'll be very um, brief. I first want to thank the Sister Cities organization and everybody who went on the fabulous trip to Erbil. And to say to people in Nashville and Erbil how much we are looking forward to their visit here, hopefully very soon, how we need everybody here to participate in that, and how inspiring, and there are two words, both sincere and enthusiastic, we found the people of Erbil and Kurdistan to have a real partnership with Nashville and how exciting that is. And again, I'm grateful to everybody that was on the trip. It was a lifetime experience, I think we would all agree, and full of learning and culture and excitement and energy. And I hope when they come to Nashville, they'll go home to Kurdistan and feel the same way uh, with our hospitality because their hospitality is a high bar to match. And so with that, Sarah Lingo, our director of Sister Cities, thank you, Sister Cities, for everybody working so hard to create such a successful relationship between our two cities. Sarah? Hi. Hi there, everyone. Um, again, Sarah Lingo, Sister Cities of Nashville. I really wanted to thank the mayor um, and the Metro Council for everything that all of you have done to make this possible. I really also want to thank our Kurdish brothers and sisters here in Nashville and in Kurdistan for supporting the formation of this partnership between our two cities. It's really incredible. Um, like all of our sister cities, this partnership will be built across borders, but this one's special because it already stands on a foundation of friendship. So with neighbors and friends here in Nashville. So we're very excited about that. Um, we're also really excited to embark on all of the cultural exchanges that are sure to come through this relationship and through the sharing of my favorite part of Kurdistan, the food, <laughs> the music, dance, and really anything that we can think to partner on. And we welcome all all of you and all of Nashville to join us on this new adventure. So thank you. Um, and I'm going to introduce Balin Ali, who is um, a Nashville native and an Erbil native. So he was born in both places. So we'll let him talk. <laughs> First of all, thank you guys all for your hard work on this. Um, truly appreciate it. Not for my family personally, but uh, my family in Kurdistan as well. Um, this was countless hours from our community, uh, from Kagnozad, Dulman One. I'm sure I missed a lot of other people as well um, that went into this wild idea, and now we have this relationship with our bill. Um, it is really exciting. For one, um, my future kids are always going to have a tie to our bill because Nashville is home. We're not going anywhere, um, and that tie to our sister city, which is our motherland, um, will always be there. So thank you guys for all your hard work on that. Anyone else? Do you want to say people? Please. Good evening. Uh, just uh, thanks for everyone. Thanks for Mayor uh, John Cooper. Thanks for uh, council, Metro Council members. Thanks for delegations and uh, uh, sister cities in Nashville. They come, they went together to Kurdistan. They see Kurdistan by themselves. So they, they see hospitality of Kurdistan. They see hospitality of Arbil, how, how there. And they see how the city, how the region is secure and safe for, and welcome for the foreigners, foreigner, especially for the Americans. Do you know to the, this year, 2023, is 60 years past with the relation between the United States of, Kurd, of America and Kurdistan. On 1963, we received Kurdistan region area, Kurdistan area, Kurdistan area under the control of Peshmerga. We received the humanitarian aids, 1963, during the president uh, uh, JFK. So, after two years, the born of U.S. aid, and now 2023. Nashville built the first uh, sister city between one of the cities in Kurdistan and uh, the one of the cities in the United States. I know that 
uh, political relations going up and down, but relation between the peoples all together, we say we, with the people and will be more strength and more stable. Thank you so, thank you so, th thank you so much for the Nashvilleian. Again, I say Nashville the first. Nashville was the first city was Kurdish mosque built in outside of United States, outside of Kurdistan. Was the first city recognized the Kurdish language be the, the, the foreign language in the uh, in the schools. Was the first city that, that recognized the Kurdish community historical historical point, and the, that's the first city. Uh, will build the uh, sister city relation between one of the cities in Kurdistan, Arvil, and Nashville. Thank you so much. Thank you for Nashville. Thank you, Nashville. They approved exactly. They are welcome and diversity. All we all we live together. We we serve the Nashville, and as Balan said, this is our home. We don't leave Nashville. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Thank you. We need a group picture. Everybody get in here for a group picture. Thank you guys for all you Come on in here, bud. This will be interesting. We're all about it. Everybody cram your things. I mean, do things. Everybody just go, huh? It helps to be my friend. Oh, my friend. Right there, buddy. California Drupal has a lot of sweet smells. That's right. Yeah. That was my controller. <laughs> yes, David. Thank All right. You. You. Thank you. Thank you. you had good knees. Very good. <laughs> yeah. I like the. Uh, 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 very good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. 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 Yeah, I got him. You got him. I knew that was going to be a mess. Councilman O'Connell. I have that chance to where the um, Cane Ridge Park, um, not the Cane Ridge Park, the, the, the park, uh, or, is it Orchard Bend by Blue Hole Road, where they're doing the work on the roundabout right there. I don't know, I forgot her name. She was cutting for volunteer for help. A lot of people help her, they go from home and help to do, to do what? She's going to, going to like, uh, up in there for the kids, mm -hmm. something like that. Okay. So they put them in the camera mm -hmm. page. Yeah. So you might see it and you go. I'll, I'll look on the King Ridge. Yeah, look at it and see if I find it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ten, ten minutes. Just yeah, by you see some people right. there, you know. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll look for that. Okay, okay. Thank you, John. Yeah, it was good to see you. This was really good. Yeah, it was good. You don't have to stay on the Yeah, we don't have to. Thank you, John. My friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Councilman O'Connell. Councilman O'Connell. I, I have him down for a presentation. <laughs> Councilwoman Murphy, can you get Councilman O'Connell to see if he's doing his presentation? Are there any council member announcements? I'll thank you later for you. Are there any council member announcements? I have one. Uh, on this Thursday, July the 21st, there will be a District 2 rezoning community meeting to discuss the project at Zero Ewing Drive and Zero Night Road. Uh, that meeting will take place at 6 o'clock this Thursday at uh, Faith United Missionary Baptist Church. As long as the people, the viewing audience can hear me, I'm going to keep talking. <laughs> Faith United Missionary Baptist Church at 6 o'clock. Uh, you can also participate via Zoom. The Zoom link is tinyurl.com backslash capital D2 July 21st. Again, this Thursday at 6 p.m., we're discussing um, Zero Ewing Drive and Zero Night Road, Faith United Baptist Church. And I, excuse me, I gave you the wrong uh, Zoom link. It is tinyurl.com backslash D2 July 20th. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, you guys should just be a little bit thoughtful because the whole time trying to make it. Councilwoman Lee, we're in the announcement period. What's yes, your I'm sorry there's so much noise in the back that I can't hear any of your announcements. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman Lee. This was just an announcement for my district. We're doing council member announcements. <laughs> Councilwoman Styles. Thank you, Pro Tem. Uh, next Saturday, July 29th, in Antioch at the Southeast Community Center, we're having Southeast Community Day. We have a community parade featuring Cane Ridge High School and Antioch High School bands, and also a parade of nations that starts at 9 a.m. And our program starts at 10 a.m. and goes 
until 2 p.m. Then we take a break and we're going to have an evening, an evening concert. So we have two bands playing that night also in the green space. So you all will have flyers on your desk in a second. So I hope you guys can come out. Thank you. There is also a dunking booth and our mayoral candidates are participating. So come on out and have fun. And yes, I will also be in the booth. Councilman Roten. Thank you, Pro Tam. I'm just gonna want to announce that Saturday morning at 10 o'clock, we are doing the grand opening of Ravenwood Regional Park. It is a thousand acre park out in Hermitage. And so it's a big deal for us. We've been working on that for quite a few years, got the funding and it's finally finished. So we're excited, 10 o'clock, the mayor will be there. We're very excited, thank you. Councilman O'Connell. Thank you, Madam President. Tim, I just am making a quick announcement about voting. Uh, polls are open for early voting for not just our local elections for mayor, vice mayor, and metro council, but also uh, for a couple of the special elections in House Districts 51 and 52. Encourage people to be aware of what's on your ballot. If you want to look at a sample ballot or have any other questions about 2023 election information, do check out the Davidson County Election Commission's resources at vote.nashville.gov. Early voting will still run through July 29th and election day is August 3rd if you miss the opportunities to early vote. All early voting locations are open uh, for this election, so that's a good news for people all over the county. Uh, and I did want to make sure that people know that if they have any issues voting whatsoever, uh, they can call 866-OUR-VOTE, which is the National Voter Protection Hotline. Uh, you can also reach the Davidson County Election Commission at 615-862-8800. Uh, but check out vote.nashville.gov. Make a plan to vote. When you go vote, take a photo ID. That is the most important thing you'll need when you go. It has to be a, an official uh, state approved photo ID. You can get all the information you need at vote.nashville.gov. Thank you, Madam President. Councilwoman Sepulveda. Thank you, Madam Pro Tem. Um, this Friday at 8.30 at 244 Willard Drive, we'll be having a movie at the community garden and we'll be screening Selena. So if anyone wants to join us, it is free. There's a popcorn machine and um, vegetables if you want to pick some. So. Are there any other council member announcements? I am scanning the room, seeing no hands. That ends the announcement period.